Hi right, guys, welcome back. Scotty's Backyard Barbecue. We got big Raider football game on today. And we got this little Monument 2 burner Mesa 200R grill that we're going to fire up do some party ribs. Baby back party ribs. What the hell is that thing? Anyway, let's do a little walk around. We're going to do a burn off first. We're going to talk about this, the quality, the price range. Let's do a little walk around review before we throw on them baby backs. I said I want to show you that this grill can do more than just burgers and hot dogs, folks, in the next few months. Gotta go put it to the test in the backyard. Hang on, folks, I'll take the camera off the tripod and we'll go check it out. Alright guys, it comes with a beautiful cover. Now this ain't no cheap cover. This is heavy duty here. Now I've gotten covers for my little pit boss here. They're really paper thin. This thing's built to last a while. Let's take this off. I got I got the sides up. Oh, we do this one-handed hang on to it. Alright folks, I got the cover off. Ain't that a beauty? Got a little see-through thing. Now the price range is very affordable. The quality of this grill and the price range both match each other. It's not overpriced for what you get. I know they done I don't not really up to date on all the old monuments that come late in the game. This got a nice cast aluminum housing. Really thick. I think these run a little over $300. I'll have to double check that. I'll throw the price up. They come in many different colors, folks. Some more up close details. You know, you got the sides that pulled down. I don't know if I can do it one-handed, but oh yeah, if I can do it one-handed, that's a good thing. Easy storage when you're done using it. Oh yeah, one-handed and all, folks. Sure love that color. Anyways, it's got the little caster. People always complain about casters on grill. These things are good. They're heavy duty. They're plastic. They get locked. I mean, you can roll around on this old deck. See this old deck of mine? I think it rolls around good. Storage. If I'm not using it, I can pull the handles down and put it away. Alright. Roll around. Let's get the table. Put that on there. I put all this up with one hand. Put a little weight on there. Like I say, it's affordable. It's a price range. You own a small apartment or moved into a small apartment. You know, you want to have a lot of room. Don't have a lot of money. Seen one of these in your big box stores? Buy it, folks. All right, we got the little propane bottle hooked up. It locks right in, so when you're rolling it around, the tank stays in one place. Some little bottle thing. If you got an extra tank, you want to cover up. All right. Well, how does it work, though? That's the main thing, folks. Let's turn on the gas. I just hooked the gas up. I might want to turn the gas on, though. Remember, when you turn any propane on, turn it on really slow, folks. <laughs> if you turn it on too fast, it throws this regulator into a safe mode, and you don't get very much propane out. <laughs> and then you have to re-purge your system. That'll be coming up in another video. But for now, let's see if she works. Turn it on. Oh yeah, fired right up, folks. Same way as this side. Hit the button. Oh, yeah, there's no hesitation, folks. First time firing it up. It's windy out here today, folks. I don't know if you can see the flame. Flame's looking good. Let's shut this door. A little fog on there because it's cold out this morning. All right. Now, I don't know how long this will last. They say it's a lot better than the old days where they, uh, you know, it got dirty and stayed dirty. We got the little temperature gauge up here in the top. You know, the heat rises, so this will tell you the hottest temperature will be up here in the top. And when you get down closer, it'll be a little hotter. I might put a gauge down here. I like to know what the heat is at great, great level. All right, let's do a walk around, folks. Move it around. We got the, for outdoor use only, folks. We got the back. Slide out. Grip tray. Let's see 
see how much fat comes out of them baby backs. Open in the back. Now Scotty might block this off because I live in Wisconsin. Might get full of snow. But we can cover it up though too, I guess. Alright. Beautiful colors. Sides are solid. It's affordable in the price range for the quality. You know, these are not really super thick metals. But it's got some heavy duty. You can really put a lot of weight on there. I mean, it's affordable. Everything's stainless steel. All the screws are stainless steel. All right. And now the glass is clearing out of there now. We're already up to 300 degrees, folks. It's not high. Open her up. Looks good. I'm going to burn off any oils. While that's burning off, folks, let me go inside and prepare them baby backs for the party, for the game today. All right, guys. I got me just a basic rack of ribs. Enough for a single person or two people for a game. I call these old school because that's what we did in the old days. We didn't really call them party ribs in them days. We just called them ribs. We cut them up. It cooks a little faster. Oh yeah, I'm using the Uncle Steve Rib Magic. This is amazing, folks. I'll leave Uncle Steve's product down below. We People have been winning contests with Uncle Steve's spices, folks. It's amazing. These are pretty meaty ribs here, folks. I'm surprised. Usually in my town, I don't get good meaty ribs. But anyways, we're going to see the knees up. They come in all sizes. You see how they get bigger and smaller. We're going to throw them on a the gas grill. This really isn't a how to make party rib video. It's just to show you that this little two burner gas grill will do more than just hot dogs and hamburgers, folks. <clears throat> we got a little pan here. We're going to put them in there. We're going to use this traditional old school. I come across this as a store. I haven't used this since the 70s, folks. Masterpiece. Original. I'm local grown honey here in my local area. Butter. Brown sugar in there. All right. Let's go outside and check on that grill, burning off all the oil that comes on it. It's up to about 600 degrees now. We'll reduce that down. See you outside, folks. All right, guys. It's been around for about 15 minutes. We're at 600 degrees. I got a little smoke tube. I don't know if I'll use it or not. Let's turn the right burner off. Let's turn this down to low. I want to keep that up to about heat rises, so it's always going to be hotter up here. I want to keep that around 300 degrees. Definitely throwing out some heat, folks. That much oil on these little pit. Anyway, the heat's going to be over here. The ribs are going to be over here. A little sear at 600 degrees. Yeah. Hey, we got football today, folks. We're just going to put these over here. This will cool down a little bit. Maybe I should let it cool first, but anyway, this isn't how to cook a rib video. Just show you that it will do more than just hot dogs and hamburgers. There we go. Let's see if we can hold the temperature at 300 degrees. If you want to try a smoke tube, I got one. Get them off of Amazon. Find something to light it with can't find my torch. Anyway folks, I'll bring you back when we get her down to 300. Alright folks, found my little propane torch. We're going to light that up. And I don't know what this smoke would do to that glass, but we're going to find out. Hey, you want some smoke in your backyard, right? On your ribs. There we go, we got some smoke going. All right, we'll bring you back in a little while. We're down to 300 now, folks. All right, guys, it's been about a half hour. Might rain on me today, but you see the smoke coming out of here? We got some good smoke. I say, I don't know how it's going to affect the glass, if it might ruin it or not. We're going to try to clean that up. I don't know if Monument recommends smoke tubes or not, but hey, it's working, it's smoking. We're a little over 300. I turned it down just a hair. We're going to dial it in. We're just going to let this roll for three hours. I'll be back in three hours, folks. Alright, guys. It's only been two hours. I went through a whole tube of smoke. So they took smoke for two hours. That's good enough. See how they look. Wow. Them bad boys looking good, folks. Smoke tube's empty. 
only a mess of that. All right, but another hour, we'll start putting them in the sauce mixture. Hour, two hours. All right, guys, we've been holding rock solid at 300 degrees. See what they look like. Been exactly three hours. Man, they are looking excellent. Let's get a temperature. It should be about 165 or so by now. 170. Yeah, they took all the smoke they're going to get. 173. We're going to pull them out. We're going to we're going to place some of these in here. I don't want to overcrowd it, but six in there. Are these a little smaller. Yeah, perfect. Hope you're getting all this. I don't have all that fancy stuff to tell me what I'm seeing here. I'm just winging it. Yeah, we got small ribs, big ribs. Probably could use a little bigger pan, but other than that, not bad. We're gonna go in just your traditional butter, honey, brown sugar stuff. We got the butter. We got some fresh honey, folks. Right here in Alameda, Wisconsin. Right down the road. We're gonna do half a jar of that. <clears throat> Buy fresh honey, folks. Don't waste that artificial honey crap. <clears throat> Want the ingredients just to say honey. Honey. Like that. We're gonna leave this upside down for a minute. A little warm in there, so we'll let that go. We got this other stick of butter on this one. We got some brown sugar. Now we're just eyeballing these ingredients. We're not measuring nothing. I mean, it's barbecue fun. Barbecue love, baby. As much as a little of all this stuff in you want. What am I going to do with a little bit of brown sugar? I'm just going to use it all, folks. Got to make it a mess. Now we're also going to hit it up with a little more of this Uncle Steve's Magic Rib Rub. Woo, get the bottle up, Scotty. Not a lot. Just like that. And now the all favorite. <coughs> Old school. Like I say, I haven't used this since the late 70s, folks. Back in them days. That's about all you could buy with Masterpiece or Hunts. Maybe a little bullseye. They didn't have a lot of commercial barbecue sauce in them days. Pretty much made your own. But now the whole aisle of the store is just full of great barbecue sauce. Like that, folks. Use the whole jar. I'm going to put the lid back on. We're also going to tip this upside down. See how much honey we still got coming out. Put that in there. Don't want to waste. This is a glass jar. We're going to save that. Oop. All right. Cover that up with some foil. Nice and tight. And we still got that burner on a medium. I should mark that dial so I know exactly where to put it next time. About halfway, folks. Hold it rock solid at 300. All right. We're just gonna put that in there like that. Let it go another hour or two. All right, no hurry. Barbecue, folks. See you in an hour or so. All right, guys, it's been one more hour. Making it a total cook time. Uh, four hours. Got some brown sugar on my new grill, folks. Let's see what they're looking like. Ah, hot. Ooh, everything's melting up nicely. Mix these up a little bit. I think we're going to take them out of here now. Let's get this over here. Look at that, folks. Smoky flavor. Great looking ribs off of gas grill, folks. Are you kidding me? Simple little two burner you can pick up at the big box store. Don't sleep on this, folks. It's an awesome little kit. Let me put this. Been holding a 300. Steady all the time for four hours. 
I got a full tank of propane. I don't know how much it, 20 bucks worth of propane. No different than $15 worth of pellets, you know. This guy didn't even worry about how much propane is used. We got that nice little barbecue saw. Got these little guys out of here. All right. Now we're gonna leave these right in this container. I'm gonna shut this lid. Ooh, get my hands clean. Get my new grill out there, you folks. Oh, we don't want that. Look at Scotty, all clean. All right. We'll shut this for about 15 minutes. We'll come back and sauce them up, folks. Hang on. All right, guys. Performing nicely. You see why I left that on this side? It's reducing it down. Thicken her up, folks. Like that. Now you can use this brush. Or you can use your hand. Or you can just do this. Have fun, folks. This is fun. Get your new grill all dirty. Like that. Oop. Like that. I'll probably speed this part up, play a little music. Alright guys, you can uh, dip them as many times as you want. I'm going to probably go one more time. Pour that there. Get that over there. Put this out here where it's easier to get to. Put that brush there. Always have a towel handy, folks, for your new grill. Get that sugary stuff off of there, or you're going to have bugs. I don't know if you can tell, but I'm absolutely loving this little pit, folks. Old Enclosure Monument is not paying me. They did send me this grill for free, and I promised them I'd make them a few videos. So, I want to show you guys this thing will do more than just burgers and hamburgers. Burgers and hot dogs. <laughs> Right back, folks. Yeah, guys, it's been 15 more minutes. This will be the last time that I saw them. Like, so you could saw them. Look at that. Nice. Boy, you seeing that, folks? Look at that, folks. That is outstanding. I haven't seen ribs that good in a long time, folks. Off a little two burner gas grill. Now, you remember, these are your ribs. You do them any way you like. We're making a big mess in this brand new grill. So you're going to see a lot of great cooks coming up off of this grill. I got a brisket coming up in a few weeks on this thing. Yes, you heard me right, a brisket. I'm going to show you how you can do some pulled pork for you and your wife or maybe just you and a buddy coming over to watch the game where you don't need, you know, 14 pounds of pulled pork. I'll show you how to do a small one. This thing will do more than just hamburgers and hot dogs and grill a steak. We will do a few steak videos though. Nobody, you know, we all love a good steak now and then. If you want a burger and a hot dog, that'll come later, later down the road. Man, look at that, folks. Nice and tender. I can feel it when I pick them up. Alright, folks. That'll be it for that. We're going to take this off. We'll see you back in the house, folks. I'll plate these up. We'll try them out. Mm. Hi, guys. There they are. The old Monument gas burner. Hey, this thing will do more than just burgers and hot dogs, like I said, folks. We got to try one, though, folks. Talk is cheap. Look at that color, folks. Ooh, pokey. All right, let's try it. Mm-hmm. These here got a good smoky flavor. Not really a smoke ring, just a slight hint of a smoke ring. See that? Oh. Mm -hmm. mm. These are good. You put these on a plate, got half time right now on a Raider football game. Can't beat it. Baby back rib during a Raider game off a gas grill. Perfect for a small apartment, small patio. Just one person, you got some buddies over. Maybe just you and the wife. 
Maybe it's just you and one child on the weekend. But anyway, it does good. <laughs> Uncle Steve's magic. No joke, folks. People are winning rib contests with that, folks. There you go. That's a nice deep smoke right there. Uh, I can sit here and eat these all day. Tender, juicy. See the juice, folks? <laughs> Alright, enough talking. A piece out of this thing. Just let you know that you two can make stuff on a gas grill other than just hot dogs and hamburgers, folks. Looking forward to more videos on this grill. Peace out.